Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to do a quick rundown on charting again. Um, if you have been following my simplified uh, architecture, I'm looking at pretty well everything to be done in C, C++ maybe, I don't know, I'm still explore, exploring everything uh, for this system. Um, I'm just trying to eliminate R Python. I was considering for charting quant mod, maybe even something in Python, but they have found something that may be uh, of use that can, is cross-platform. Um, it is done in Qt. There's a couple of options that came out. One called uh, for QWT, which is open source, which is pretty bad. Qt plot, um, and then there's there's a one that is not too bad. Um, let me see and show you what I think. This one from ASE, uh, 100 bucks is pretty cheap US for one license. Um, but you can deploy it onto uh, a computer, a, a server, uh, Linux, um, or Linux, or BSD, or Windows. Uh, so I've downloaded a, a version of this. This is not too bad, actually, just come under download. I downloaded one for just Quick reference for um, chart director for .NET. I think it was this one I downloaded. So I built it up. Um, was able to run it, um, build it in my uh, Visual Studio. Uh, these are all C sharp instances. Uh, let me just run it for you. This is the samples they provide. Um, let's see what we got here. There is one section for finance which doesn't look too bad. Now remember, this is a cross-platform. It is in C, C++, so for 100 bucks, it's not too bad. Um, you get the simple high-low close. So this, this would be pretty snappy um, in terms of uh, if it's well-optimized code. Uh, it should be pretty snappy, but um, uh, actually, uh, there's some other options here. Finance chart. Um, but there is an interactive one, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so this is the interactive one. Um, so let's do the huge, uh, I don't know how big that would be, but uh, let's just work with whatever they give you. Um, all right, so we have all our classic um, periods. So I'm sure we can just stream in this, hopefully, uh, and have it refresh, uh, I'm assuming. Um, we got parabolic, all their all their technical indicator, uh, uh, typical technical indicator, um, and uh, basically technical indicator. What am I trying to say? Candlestick, uh, this median price, um, Bollinger, open high low close. Uh, So it's not too bad. Uh, nothing fancy, but it could do the job. Um, I, I would expect it to be fairly fairly quick. Um, the only ones I was looking at, Dev Express, get the same kind of functionality you're looking at. Ooh, what was I saying? Two thousand um, dollars. So for a hundred bucks, uh, this appeals to me more. Um, uh, RSI, rate of change, uh, but you get the idea. I'm just flipping through these. Um, so because it's built on uh, QT as well, um, uh, it's pretty affordable. Um, so something to consider. Um, and again, it's cross-platform, or it should be. Um, I guess you just get a DLL or something or a static library to work off of. But for display, display purposes, as I said, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, just wanted to show it to you and uh, see what you think. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.